Hello everybody. Today's video, let's entitle the video, uh, My Biggest Mistake in the Stock Market. And it's about a position that I no longer hold. I couldn't stand to look at it anymore and I sold the stock for a loss and it was my biggest loss to date. And I want to tell you about the stock, but more importantly, about how I justified it was the right thing to do because it was a mistake and I thought I was a genius, right? So I thought that it not only makes a good story, but that a lot of people probably do the same thing when they're new in the stock market. So the subject is Lithium Americas Corp, LAC. And I love lithium, right? As a car, as a retired car mechanic, I batter, I watch battery technology go from lead acid batteries to AGM batteries, which is a absorbent glass mat. And those batteries lasted for seven years instead of five years. And now we have lithium batteries that can not only start your engine, it can power the whole car, right? So when I look around my house, I see lithium double a batteries my ryobi cordless drill runs off of a lithium battery there's lithium batteries all over my house right so i figure that lithium is a very important commodity and we import all of our lithium from you know foreign countries so this company is the first company to have a mine in america and so here's how I justified purchasing this stock. And it just so happens that I paid around five twenty-five a share, right? So now it's above my um, original, I'll call it a strike price, but um, it's what I paid. It's above what I paid for it. So let's see here. Um, lithium America is a, you know, it's a lithium mineral mining company. And they bought this, um, they bought this, um, mine in the Thacker Pass. And let's see, it says currently most of the world's lithium is mined in Australia or South America, right? And if you start researching this Thacker Pass mine, you'll see that it's one of the biggest mines ever discovered in the entire world. And it's right here in the United States. And right now we're relying on other countries to, oh, will you please give us some of your lithium, right? What happened if we had our own lithium? And if you read this article, it turns out that the lithium in this mine is super concentrated because I guess because of this volcanic or, or volcano um, location that, um, that for some reason the lithium is extremely uh, concentrated, right? So this mine is supposed to be one of the best mining operations going forward. So before I bought it, I, I did some research, right? Because I'm a smart guy. I'm going to do some research. And it turns out that there was some legal manners um, about the Thacker Pass location. And the um, American Indian tribes uh, launched lawsuit after lawsuit against the company to try to stop them mining this uh, area. But it turns out that they um, they lost their final appeal in court. And that, you know, because the current administration wants to have green energy and wants electric cars in every garage, that they pushed this mine through. So, you know, next year, if you look at the, um, you know, the uh, earnings report for the company, next year, they're going to turn a profit. Their infrastructure is all built out. So I thought that this was the most solid buy that anybody could ever purchase. But here's what happened. I bought it for $5.33. A week later, um, Elon Musk uh, did his earnings call for Tesla, which is, you know, the biggest user of lithium maybe in the world, may, uh, maybe BYD in China. Uh, but anyway, he uses a lot of lithium and he comes out and he says that the car sales are down and the future is not good for this year, for the entire year. So the stock started to plummet and it went down to $3.81 a share. 
So here's the mistake that I made when I, I purchased for, for five twenty five a share. And when it dropped to $4 and 25 cents a share, I said, Oh my God, this is an all time low. I have to buy more of this, right? The other thing that got me to um, continue buying additional shares is certain companies were a hundred percent bullish about this and it was a strong buy at the time. So I still thought it was a good investment and I continued to buy shares in hundred in hundred shares per block um, several times. So I wound up with a lot of shares of this stock, but it continued to fall. So it was heartbreaking for me to log into my portfolio, which is supposed to be for fun and entertainment. I'll link to another video about um, what my portfolio is all about. But it was very sad that in an up stock market and all of my positions were winning, everything was green. And yet my total unrealized gain every day was horrible because of this one lithium stock. So if I was patient, I would have stayed in, but this account is for my own fun and entertainment. And it was very sad to see this stock performance every day. So at one point, the stock made a comeback to about $4 a share. And I sold all my shares just because I couldn't stand to look at it. And I lost $400. So it was my biggest loss to date. Now, I'm going to say that there's, there's a silver lining in every cloud that this account has done pretty well. And overall, it has a total unrealized gain of $280. So if you consider my negative of 400 and something, I would have been up $600, $700. But that's okay because it's a tax write-off. To lose money on a stock is a tax write-off and at the end of the year i'll be able to subtract that 400 dollars loss from my gains and it'll re reduce my taxable position but i wanted you to see the logic of a madman and how somebody that loves lithium could have fallen for this stock everywhere i go i grab a lithium battery because lithium is the greatest battery technology and when america became you know, or, or will become the leading lithium producer of the entire world. I thought I got to get on, in on this. But the truth is, is that commodities, commodities are a very tricky thing. And all it takes is Elon Musk to come to wander out on the stage and say, you know, we're not going to use a lot of lithium this year. And boom, all of the research that I did about the legal battles and the volcanoes and all of it was useless because all the stock market cares about is what are you going to do for me today and what are you going to do for me tomorrow? We're not so uh, wrapped up in what are you going to do for me in 10 years? So that was the mistake that I made. I made a lot more mistakes. I have some good videos coming up about this Tesla stock which is currently down $186. And I recently jumped into uh, an NVIDIA tracking stock, which is NVDY, also a yield max fund. And I'm trying to catch a falling knife as this stock pulled back on Friday. So I hope that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell and take a look at my other videos that describe um, my losses in the stock market. So thanks for watching today.